What is going on guys? This is the Red Sky here and today we have we are going to be having my first top five list. Um, in today's video I'm going to be talking about my favorite Call of Duty Zombies maps. This is the first one I've done of these. These these will include maps from World of War, Black Ops 2, and 3. Before we start this video, let's see if we can try and get this video to two likes. Alright, now let's get started with this list. In number 5, we have Nocturne Toten from World at War. Its English translation is Night of the Living Dead. I like this map mainly because the first map in the zombie series. I also like it because there are no perks which makes the map harder for most um, people. The reason it's lower on my list is beca mainly because it has no perks and it is a small map which makes it harder to train. That is why Nocturne Toten gets number 5 on my list. In the number four spot, we have Town from Black Ops 2. This is my second favorite map from Black Ops 2. My favorite um, map from Black Ops 2 will actually be on this list, even though this map is very simple. The map's layout makes it easy to train, plus the perks are located in very easy to reach locations. The only reason I don't like this map a whole lot to place it higher on the list is because of the lava everywhere. Now, I personally would be fine if the lava was basically in the center where the pack a punch is. But I don't like it where it's everywhere all over the map. It makes it, it, it's just annoying. And that is why Talon gets number four on my list. At number three, we have Durajendrak from Black Ops 3. I really enjoy playing on this map. Whenever I open up Black Ops 3, it's hard for me to choose between this map and my number one pick. Um, the thing I love the most about, about this map is how easy it is. It's very easy to get the power switch and all the perks you need, and they are easily accessible. Also, the Panzer is very easy to kill, sometimes. That is why Drizendrak gets number 3 on my list. In the number 2 spot, we have Nuketown 2025 from Black Ops 2. This is my favorite map from Call of Duty Black Ops 2. The reason I like this map so much is that there are so many good places to train on this. You have both the backyards plus the middle section. That's basically a, mo a majority of the map. Um, the main reason why this didn't get number 1 was I don't like how the perks are random when they fall from the sky. It's, uh, I just don't really like how it does that. Now, before we get to our number one spot, we have some honorable mentions. Our first honorable mention is Kino Dur Toten from Black Ops. Its English translation is Cinema of the Dead. Our second honorable mention will be Barry from Black Ops 2. And our final honorable mention will be Shadows of Evil from Black Ops 3. Now that we are done with the honorable mention, let's get to our number one. My favorite zombies map of all time is Transit. I'm just kidding. My real number one spot goes to Revelations from Black Ops 3 Zombies. I love this map. I love how it incorporates everything from the most popular maps and zombies like Kino, Noct, Origins, Shangri-La, and eh, kind of Zetsubu no Shima. I also love how they made Noct the main point where you can get both the Pack-a-Punch and Jug. That is why Revelations, eh, sorry, that's why Revelations gets the number one spot on my list. Alright guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Remember to get this video to 2 likes, and let's close off this video. Alright guys, remember to like and subscribe, and always remember to stay you. This is the Red Sky, signing out, and I will see you all next time. Oh, and before I go, if you cannot have catched on already, this was my personal opinion. Um, if you have a different list, leave it in the comments below. Alright, thank you guys for watching.